Lee Hogan here, VIP Boxing, down at Lewain for tomorrow's night's uh, Eliminator, English yeah. and Commonwealth, mate. That's so, the one. Uh, Dom, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, mate. Just ready now. Like All the hard work's done now, isn't it? And it's just time to go in there and have some fun now. Well, do you know something? Um, you've been on our radar for a long time. <laughs> um, James, you both used to compete at welterweight. Yeah. And uh, it was... Because uh, I think you must have held that central area um, uh, welterweight title for about four years, was it? Three no, years? I won it in 2001 and I defended it about three times. So yeah, I, yeah, I did it a while. But yeah, I remember um, we were definitely talk about fighting James a while ago. And then um, I got injured, then he took a fight on, um, I think he fought on um, on the zone or something, I think in Spain, was it? Oh, yes, so he did, he, yes. He, did, he took that one, and then the Darren Tetley fight come up, and I'm like, oh, I can't turn that down, that's a massive opportunity to fight. Would that be a, a big local derby for you? Yeah, and as well, the, like the calibre of Darren Tetley, I like, I had to take that one. Yeah. So then, obviously, get, things get... Was the Darren in. Tetley the second defence of your uh, yeah. Central Area yeah. title? Yeah, yeah. Because you would have been, even though you were the champion, I think you would have been a big underdog Massive in that fight. underdog, yeah, because he just came off the fight against Echo Usman mm. um, at Wembley Stadium, co-main event to Tyson Fury, and he did really well. So like, when people found out I were taking that fight, like, are you mad or something? But you can't, take, you can't turn down opportunities, can you? To no, fight no, good it lads. paid off, obviously. And and it's, it's like this one, it's like, um, it's just another opportunity against a, a top lad. So. Well, you've got the one blemish on your record, yeah. um, which was uh, against Ben Vaughan, who's... You, the kid you just mentioned before, because after he beat you, he ended up fighting for the WBO European, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Against uh, Echo uh, Uzerman. Yeah. Now, was that was that because it wasn't for your title when you fought Ben Vaughan, was it? No, no. He but it was a, a ten rounder. A British title eliminator, but um, in in hindsight, I shouldn't have taken it. I was really ill, mate. Um, really ill. Um, struggled with the weight. Um, had loads of injuries in camp. It was just one of them. But I just thought I'm going to turn up and fight. I was too stubborn for me on good. Um, I should have listened to people around me really well, so but was that because i was saying to james james had uh, a couple of fights on the big stage where he underperformed and uh, as you get older it's harder to maintain the weight you mm. know and it's natural thing to move up mm. was that the night you found out that you should have moved up as well then yeah um i just it was just one of them mate. i can't read too much into it because everything in the camp went wrong everything right um it was just um you know like I say it just cuts injuries um, just not being well in general, um, it was just terrible. But the thing is, that's why I don't dwell on it because I just think that wasn't me. And no. every time I've been on form in a fight, I've won. Yes. Um, and I've beaten good lads doing so. So it's kind of like I know what I can do when well, I'm. Well, it's a crossroads it. fight for both of you this two. Yeah. Uh, this fight because like I was saying to James, I've known James a long time. You know, since he first started with us, and his two performances. And I'm not taking anything away from Matthew Rennie or Ethan mm. James. Um, but he didn't look like the, the man, he's got a great engine on, he's, mm. as you have. Uh, you know, you're non-stop, you come forward, you know, you don't mind taking a shot to land a shot. Mm. Um, but he, he, there was just no zip in him at all. Mm. And uh, I, I think his coach, uh, Ann Crowley, was telling him to move up way before those fights. Yeah. And, you know, mm. you're, you're fighters and you, you like to do what you've been doing all your career, but eventually you do have to move up. And uh, I think... Even though this has been spoke about many a year, hmm. you and uh, the Moorcroft fight, I think this is a perfect time for both of you now. I think we're both at his peak as well. I think because I think um, it'll have done James the world a good going up. Like you just said, um, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll feel a lot better, faster, stronger um, than I do as well. <laughs> so it's kind of like I think we're both going to be at his best tomorrow. So it's a perfect fight for you. That was the most friendliest way in I've ever seen, mate. It's just and, respect, uh, people, isn't it? Yeah, just, I, I, yeah. I, you know, I love that. That's that's yeah. what I think. But boxing's a gentleman's sport. I know you're in there and you're trying to knock one another out and punch one another, hurt one another, but there's no need to do that until the bell goes. Of course, of course. Uh, and prior to that, you, you should be exactly as you two were. It was it was, it was a pleasure to watch, and yeah. I think it's going to be a pleasure to watch uh, tomorrow night. And one of you is going to come off. Uh, with a win and hopefully a big opportunity afterwards. Yeah, definitely. I just think um, whatever happens is going to be a great fight. And I think, um, you know, I know I've, I've watched a lot of James's fights in the past. Um, so I say we've been kind of, I think, sussing each other out for a while. And I know, I know he's very good. I know what he does well, and he's going to bring it. So 
it's just going to be a very good fight for people to watch, isn't it? Well, well, do, you, do you like going to... Because you're in his backyard here. Yeah. So he's got a home advantage. Does that bother you? Or do you not read in anything into that? I don't know. I don't mind. Because, like I say, I've been, in, I've been into backyard before and won, so it doesn't really faze me. Um, I like the challenge of doing so because... Makes the win even better. Oh, well, yeah. And it's kind of like... I think he's in life in general. So getting out of your comfort zone is important anyway in any yeah. form of life, isn't it? And I just think coming here... We've, to be fair, we've got like um, 70 odd people coming across from Wakey, so we've got a decent following coming over. So it's kind of, um, I won't feel away from them or anything. So no, they'll make some noise for you. Yeah, and the thing is, they can't fight for me, can they? So that's <laughs> down to me, isn't it, mate? I'm going to do that. Well, listen, I'll let you refuel, mate, and no, uh, get ready for, for tomorrow time. night, and we'll see you tomorrow, mate. Oh, cheers, mate. It's nice to meet Good you, because I've listened to loads of your interviews before, which <laughs> shows it's nice to meet you. So. And you, mate. Dom, right. take care. Cheers, bye -bye. mate. Thank you. For all boxing, Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.